Now to a topic that affects us all. February is American Heart Month and cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of all Americans. And thanks to our friends at the American Heart Association, we heard about our next guest's incredible story. Yeah, he's a husband, he's a dad, but he's also using his social media to influence and inspire others based on his own story. So let's bring in now TikTok sensation, mm -hmm. JT Laybourne. And JT, your, your TikTok sensation talking about heart health and your heart in particular. You've had two open heart surgeries, one right as you were turning four years old. The other was just last year when you were 35 but you have a congenital heart disease. So first, you have that smile on your face, but how is your heart health right now? Uh, it's phenomenal. So I'm very happy that everything is on the up and up. Uh, on the up and up right now, and Dr. Ashley, we want to bring you in on this to, to explain what we're talking about here, and he's a great advocate now, but when we say congenital heart disease, what are we talking about? Yeah, this is why it's so good that JT is bringing this to the attention of so many people. Congenital heart disease affects about 1% of all babies born in the U.S. So you're talking about 40,000 babies every year. We normally can pick it up on some types of ultrasounds during pregnancy, but other times it's not detected until after birth. It can be corrected surgically, but then these children, these adults, require lifelong follow-up. In many cases, they can go on to live totally normal lives. Do you feel like people have this notion of what a typical person living with heart disease looks like? And what do you really want people to know about what your life has been like and is like today? Uh, yeah, it's anytime someone learns that I've had now two open heart surgeries they the first question or the first response is always wow but you're so young and healthy and fit and that's that's one of our issues is that uh heart disease doesn't discriminate it doesn't care how old you are it doesn't care where you're from it it doesn't discriminate uh so i think if people from this can take that uh, we all can be affected um that it doesn't have a particular look that would be huge because until we get more people talking about this um until it becomes a bigger issue in public eye uh you know we still have a lot of people that die every day from this and and dr ashton i'm sure you would agree here and, and jt forgive me for calling you a bit of a knucklehead because you admittedly admittedly we're not going back and getting the regular checkups that you needed. You fell off a little bit because you felt great. And then you went back in and they essentially said, hey, this has progressed a little faster than you imagined and you needed to go get open heart surgery. I think your, uh, your girlfriend actually in, in influenced you to do that. So that's one thing as a reminder in, in your story. But also you've coined something called the JT way uh, in talking to people about heart disease. What does that mean? Um, it just honestly means to to live life the best you can to be a little bit better today a little bit better tomorrow um, and take any situation and try to make the best of it uh, at the end of the day we always have a choice in how we handle things and um, never in a million years did i think i'd have open heart surgery during a pandemic and my wife have to drive up to the hospital at 5 30 in the morning and give me a hug and a kiss goodbye uh, and just hope that we see each other in a few days but um yeah, it's, uh, it's been a crazy ride. Uh, first, JT, please give my apologies to your wife for saying that no your worries. girlfriend <laughs> influenced you <laughs> to get to the doctor. Let's do that first and for foremost. But the mantra is go make someone smile. Um, and JT, you are doing it. And I know Dr. Ashton appreciates uh, what you are doing and using your story to get that message out. So you stay good, stay healthy, and go get the checkups like you're supposed to. Okay, my man? Absolutely. I appreciate everybody and um, everything that's happened over the last couple of months has been nothing short of a miracle. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that has uh, stood up for something that I truly believe in. And uh, heart disease is not just in February. It's something that we deal with 365 days a year. Perfectly put. JT, thank you for sharing your story and absolutely inspiring others to live better and to get those checkups. Yeah. It, you. Earl, he sounds a lot like you. I've heard you talk so many times over the years about the importance of that day. A hundred percent. It's a game changer. Everything's different after that and everything can be better.
hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.